They have to solve this equation. Bud Foster has been the defensive coordinator for this group during that losing streak for Virginia. And they have to solve that puzzle here tonight. Jackson himself with a first down run. First throw. Jackson incomplete. He was giving ground looking for Hezekiah Grimsley. There are five losses. Winnable games, too. No doubt about it. This is Olamide Zacchaeus, a very dangerous offensive weapon, but Tremaine Edmonds, one of the best linebackers in the country, tracked him down. Three on third down, and this is third and 13. Ben Kurt tipped and incomplete. He wanted Reed. Quick set for Jackson, and he has a completion into plus territory. Grimsley, who came in with two catches in his career, has been targeted a couple times. Jackson keeps it and runs into a wall. Jordan Mack, the sophomore of the state of Georgia, with the stop. Fourth down, what do you do? Ben Kurt on third down. Loads up a long one, and he's got it, Joe Reed. Zacchaeus is back there now, third and eight. That was Zacchaeus in motion, and Ben Kurt was throwing his way off a stop route, and it's fourth down. On ABC as the Hurricanes got caught by Pat Narduzzi and the Pittsburgh Panthers as Cam Phillips steps through. And <laughs> watching this game, they don't like you very much. Thank you for pointing that out. Third down screen. Trayvon McMillan is stopped. On first down, it's a run for Jordan Ellis. We were talking about the uh, tattoos of Kurt Benkert. Benkert uncorks for the sideline one more time and too much on it. Jackson. Lofts it, Phillips, oh, he stepped inside and brought it in. What a play by Cam Phillips. And what an adjustment by Cam Phillips. He actually was doubled underneath. McLeese chased by Kaiser. He got the corner on him in a first down. Can be that simple and he's sticking to the game plan. McLeese on a first down run. Jackson steps up. Jackson runs and dives. He's going to be short by a couple of yards. Now Virginia Tech has an up in the air kicking situation. This is what they're trying right now is a field goal attempt. So Sly is not in. Johnson will kick it. And Brian Johnson for the injured Joey Sly starts the scoring this evening. Butts the tight end, the lead blocker, and Gaines drives down Ellis for a loss. And maybe even expect to win this game tonight. That's a huge difference than what we saw a year ago. Ben Kurt goes down. It's a third down run, and it's not going anywhere. Peoples goes into the pile, and he's driven back. So fourth down. Good match, aren't they? Yeah, no doubt about that. Third and short, they throw, and a great grab by Olamide Zacchaeus. Just his second touch of the day. This one goes for a first down. And Ellis did not have a grip on that whatsoever. Ben Kurt has to snap it off with pressure bearing down on him from Hill. Shells in coverage on the back end. Third down, Hall blitzing from the corner, and this is intercepted. Juan Thornhill got in front of it. It's his fourth of the year. Thornhill understanding the quarterback's not going to have time to throw the ball deep, so he sets on the route. You can see Thornhill outside. A blitz is coming, and so the ball has to come out quickly for Virginia. Best starting field position tonight for Ben Kurt in the offense. And he runs into a wall. Design roll, Ben Kurt 
to Zacchaeus, and Alameda Zacchaeus tackled by Newsom. Third down and short coming up. Two for his team. Ellis was out in the flat. Ben Kirk goes the other way, and he's got the tight end Tanner Cowley for his second grab of the year. Combinations in the back end on your perimeter, guys. Jordan Ellis through the eye of the needle, very close to the marker. And this down in distance. Ellis had enough energy to pick up the first down. Some of that can make a slight difference. Ben Kurt, third down. That's short of the sticks either way. Donnie Dowling at the sideline would eclipse that. From 41, Mejia to tie the game. No good. I think that's an indication he's trying to get that feel back in that right hand. Ben Kurt to run this time, and he has some space for a first down. Just negative eight yards on the ground for Virginia. As the ball comes loose, Sharp put it on the ground, and the Hokies have it. Gains for Virginia Tech. The tie turns a little bit. Ridgie Floyd, I believe, had the contact that jarred this ball loose. A great job of putting the shoulder pad of Floyd right on that ball, and it's the turnovers like this. Jackson with a short field, snaps it off, and a jumping play by Grimsley. Fuente told us that the question mark was the receiving group, and particularly on plays like this. Can we do anything to scare Virginia on the, on the perimeter? And it's plays like this that will do that, but that just gets you down to this. McMillan, the running back. Jackson to throw, fading away, end zone! Chris Cunningham! Red zone and Blanding is a guy who we talked about, he has a ton of tackles, and it's play action pass, the nickel linebacker that was supposed to be in coverage. Ben Kurt can't avoid the rush. Boy, Haushin Gaines, the redshirt sophomore out of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, has had a whale of a game playing for the injured Vinnie Mahota for Virginia. That is a long way to go. Ben Kurt for Donnie Dowling trying to drag tacklers and he may have gotten there. Virginia brings six and they get there forcing a quick throw but it finds its target Cam Phillips on a first down Hokies. To the right guy if you're Virginia Tech and Cam Phillips. Here's the freshman Holston dancing into the secondary for a first down, Virginia Tech. Boy, he has earned himself some extra playing time late this year. Redshirt freshman to throw. And that is going to be short. Nobody around. Easy for Jackson. And a first down and then some to the fringe. Keeps contained on the right side defensively. Right there, and Josh Jackson boots outside. McLeese bumped into Kaiser's man, and Chris Peace finished him off. They're going to throw. Up, oh, Jackson will tuck it. Pinball around for a while, and get yanked down by Peace. Area a little bit. Ben Kurt keeps it and throws it down the middle. Oh, Lamade Zacchaeus to the 40 yard line. This resembles a run pass option, but I think it turns into just play action pass. It's one at the line of scrimmage by Zacchaeus. But remember what was going on in the backfield. It was a, a run fake. Zacchaeus gets by the defender. I mean that you're going to be on the same page as your quarterback. You both have to see the same thing in coverage. They decide to run wow. on third down and seven. 
Edmonds the stop and what do you think of that? That was one of his best runs. Back there, up the middle, and he pile drives across the 30 for a first down. Sometimes it becomes more playing time. Third and one. And this goes for a first down with Peoples. 16 passes for Jackson. On the roll. He snaps off a first down pass inside the 45, Cam Phillips. Have to get to the 31. And that's going to be short of the marker, but Grimsley went down to get it, leading to a choice for Justin Fuente. Jackson in the pocket, drops it off, and has a first down. Eric Kuma inside the 25. Dude, that is huge. 15th play of the drive. Jackson and Hezekiah Grimsley may have given back some yardage from 32. Two-score game remains that way at 10-0. But Virginia's likely not going to kick tonight unless it's very close. And that's not happening anytime soon. Ricky Walker dumps Ben Curry. And go, goes for the knockout punch. Ben Kurt moving pocket again. He unshackles down the field. And it's caught. Andre LeBron, he brought it in. Stroman on that particular play. Penalty declined. They take the 51-yard effort. Now Ham out of the backfield off an Ellis block. And the Virginia running back tandem blocking for each other first down. Ben Kurt giving ground. Ben Kurt whistles it out of bounds. Fourth down. What are you going to do here? Second down for the Hokies and McLeese. They had a first down on a gain of five. Would be rare. Why not run it again? And a reverse of field for McLeese for a first down. Chance to go to a bowl game in six years with that win against Georgia Tech late this season. McLeese to the edge. And he's showing a second gear, cutting up field. Brown the stop. Another first down, Virginia Tech. And some more post-play flags with some argument on the sideline. Yeah. Peoples the back, and he is crushed. Micah Kaiser was in his shoulder pads from the word go, and now it's fourth and long. Against this hokey defense. Virginia has eight rush yards, and the offense isn't going anywhere. Edmonds hits Ben Kurt. First down run. Third down trouble, and this one is behind Reed. And now, with one timeout, you're pretty much forced to go for it, aren't you? Yeah. Ben Kurt. And it's short. Terrell Janna, shy of the 30 yard line, a turnover on downs. Stephen Peoples, first and goal. And Virginia just didn't have any semblance of direction in that game, but it's much different this season, and they're bull eligible for the first time in forever. Third shutout, though, by Virginia Tech of Virginia since 2006. It's the most by any Power 5 team against any other Power 5 team during this streak. They can't top the Hokies.